Hi, I have a word from the Lord, and this this is the word of the warning. You know, um, a lot of times when I go on my YouTube, I see YouTube is offering me, uh, suggesting me, you know, some channels, and a lot of them, you know, they are prophetic channels. And today, I don't know why it, you know, I, I felt like pressing it and checking it. So when I started watching it immediately, my spirit rejected that woman. You know, she was saying, thou says the Lord, she was using the Bible and everything. And, you know, but the messages that she was releasing, I know she's not of God. Like God gives me discernment. God gives me understanding. The spirit of God that is in me. You know, I let the Spirit of the Lord operate. I let the Spirit of the Lord to lead me, not my flesh, not my spirit. So I immediately, I knew she was false. I knew she was not speaking by God. I said, oh no. And, you know, I was praying and God gave me um, 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. And it is written, And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. Um, everybody knows that scripture. I am sure every Christian, every single Christian knows the scripture. But does every Christian apply this to his life? Everybody needs to apply this scripture to every single prophet you are watching. Because do you know that even the real prophets can be deceived? Do you know that if you have ability to hear the voice, and I'm speaking from my own experience, do you know that if you have ability to hear the voice of God, you also have ability to hear the voice of the devil? And do you know the devil comes, he will not come to, a fall, uh, to, to the real prophet and he will not say, oh, hey, you know, hi, I'm Satan and I came to deceive you. No. He might come in your dream even as Jesus Christ. That's the point of deception and that's the point of masquerading as an angel of light, as the light. And like, do you know that even real prophets, they can make mistake and even real prophets can hear the voice of the enemy and it takes wisdom, it takes fasting, like fasting, a lot of fasting. It takes a lot of reading uh, of the Word of God, Bible, studying the Bible. First of all, you need to know God for who He is, because if you don't know God, surely you will be deceived 100%. It goes without saying. There is no, you know, there is no even need to, you know, to argue about that. If you don't know the Word of God, if you don't know the character of God, who the God is, you will be deceived 100%. So, um, God wants you to be careful, not only with the false ones, like, even when you know that the person is of God, but you still have to be careful. Every message that you receive, you need to ask the Lord, like now I'm giving you the message. What you have to do is to say, God, is this message of you and is this message for me? Please, please God, confirm this word for me. Confirm this word for me. Show me your truth. We need to pray every message you receive because I am a human being and thank God, God is on my side and He showed me, you know, when the enemy is, is trying to do evil and trying to bring deception and confusion, like I see that God is showing me, thank God. But there are people who don't perceive and they do not understand. At the same time, there are a lot of people um, who started, you know, their prophetic ministries, but they started on the wrong side. There is, there, is, um, there is a demon, there is a special power. You know, that power is chasing young prophets. There is a special power, a demon, a special, how, I don't know how to say it. There is a specific demon, no special, sorry, specific demon, demons, spirits, that they go they go after baby Christians and young prophets. For example, the person became born again, right? You accepted Jesus. You realize you are a prophet. You have prophetic gift. The enemy will go after you. 
If you don't start being rooted immediately in the word of God, if you don't start fasting and praying and reading the Bible, you might be unprepared and the enemy will come. I have seen real prophets of God turned into prophets of Baal because they were not ready. And I saw that woman and it looks like, you know, she just started her ministry and the spirit that is behind her is Satan. But she speaks, you know, through the Bible. She says, Yah told me, Yah, Yah, she's calling God, Yah, Yah told me, Yah said this. And like, uh, the deception is great. And God was showing me another girl. There is one girl. Um, I saw her story. She, is, she was quite famous at some time. And she started seeing the dreams. And those dreams she was sleeping with, she was saying, she was claiming she was sleeping with Jesus. Of course, it was Satan. It was the, no, so it was the devil. And the demon later on turned into dragon. She says, show me your real face. And she, he turned into dragon. And now she thinks that Jesus Christ is dragon. You understand? And God was bringing, while he was giving me that scripture, why he gave me that scripture about Satan being, you know, trying to deceive people uh, that he pretending to be, you know, angel of light. He was giving me, immediately I saw the vision of that girl, what she was speaking about that, you know, uh, the enemy comes to deceive. I pray that, I, I really pray for people that God will open the eyes of people, but there is something you need to remember every time you see prophetic word, every time you follow any kind of prophet. The Satan will never say, hi, I am Satan. Of, I mean, for you, for the Christian who follows Jesus, he will come to deceive you. If you're an evil person and you're looking for Satan, yes, yeah, surely he will come and he will tell you, I am Satan. But when he wants to deceive you, he will never tell you, my God, when somebody, when the rapist when, uh, met a girl online and he wants to rape her and he's inviting, inviting her for a date, he will not tell her from before, hi, you know, don't come for a date because I'm going to rape you. He will tell her, come for a date and I will treat you a nice dinner. And I'm not going to touch you. you. Do you understand this? Do you understand the, the level of deception these days? I don't know whom this message is for. Like, um, you know, I somebody is obviously deceived. God is trying to reach someone. Someone who's watching this video right now. Some of you, most probably you are deceived by someone. And God is trying to reach out to you. Um... If you were brought to my channel, you know, God is trying to talk to you. God is trying to reach, you, uh, uh, reach out to you and to take you out of something, take you out of disaster. Because I'm telling you, the false prophets, they lead people into disaster. It doesn't matter that they call the word of God. They operate by lying spirit and lying spirit. It is always a disaster. No matter what, it is always a disaster. So um, please, God is trying to reach out to you. Please, somewhere you went wrong. Not, not, it is not message for everybody, right? In, in, in a way, in a way it's for everybody because everybody must be cautious. But someone went astray, someone went into the false ones. Please, please um, ask the Lord to show you through the dreams, through the visions. Even if you're not prophet, guess what? You can still, still, still see things. God still can show you the vision, right? And the dreams. So, Ask God where you went wrong. Ask God if you are deceived by anything or anyone. God bless you.